Welcome back to Lily Clap's story. I'm Fire Nation and this is Project Zomboid. Welcome back everybody and thank you for joining me on another fantastic day with our girl Lily Clap. So now that we have found the propane torch, we can actually do some work around here. Uh, 6 months, 10 days, 13 hours, 9,232 zombies dispatch via weapon, 2,380 via fire, and another 31 via car. We're looking good. So now that I took out some of the refrigerators and stuff that was um, just taking up space and also making it so my uh, generator would consume more stuff. Now I want to actually put it back up on top in the middle and see how much is on and how much coverage this thing has on the, the Gigamart. I assume the middle tile will get most of it. Also, I want to replace all the wooden barricades with uh, metal ones. Conveniently still have this right here, marking my midpoint. Just about, anyways. So let's turn this on. Get you all wired up. Turn you... Nope. No. Turn on. There we go. Alright. Um, Generic cooled shell. Six. Lights times four, that's not bad. Alright, let's turn this back off. So, I'm thinking that's still these guys that are over here plaguing me. Uh, there might be something else in there that I missed. And we might also have to go get another propane tank, because I'm pretty sure that I burned through that one. I could have swore I had some other ones around here somewhere. I probably do in some of my loot containers. Also, I need to get some water. Somewhere in here, I know I have more propane tanks. I'm pretty sure I found more. Yeah, these are the generic cooled shelves, are they not? These things are a plague. Bridge, yeah, they are. Can I not pick them up or it did? I can't do anything with them. Oh, I'm, I'm, st I'm stupid. <laughs> I have to press R to cycle through the tiles on this. Yeah. So you can't disassemble them. But I can. It looks like I can pick them up. So if I press R. Oh no, that just goes to the tile. Dang it! I thought I had actually figured it out. The phenomena... Of these stupid fridges. I can't get out of here. Um, What about this side? See, it has it selected. And it'll actually go... Like it's going to do it. But then nothing happens. I think those are just stuck there. I wish I could unplug them. There's also a bunch of lights that are turned on. I'm going to collect some of these metal sheets. Oh, yeah. Need the regular ones. We got a bunch. And then we can use the small ones for repairing vehicles, which is nice. I also want to move this table out front and I can store stuff on it. I'll come back and get that. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, and we got a metal sheet right here. Perfect. Because this wood door is not very secure like this. Oops. No, unbarricade. Turn that alarm off. Yeah, I want to take all these off and put a metal sheet up there. And that'll also help level my metalworking as well. How far did I get? Almost metalworking five. Good. So one and a half levels and we can uh, read the metalwork four book. The better I am at metalworking, the... Did I barricade that too? The more repairs I'll get on a vehicle. And the more stuff I can build, because I've never really built with uh, metalworking before. There's another one in here. I also got a ton of brand new metal pipes. And metal bars. So, short blunt weaponry is good to go. <laughs> really good to go. Absolutely love that. Okay, I'm probably going to disassemble those two metal doors too. I can always replace them with wood. 
And then I can repurpose these planks somewhere else. I don't think there's a button for unbarricade. I think you just have to go around clicking. So it's kind of monotonous. But this is something I've been meaning to do for a while. I think I'll leave the ones on the outside. The uh, planks, that is. Because I don't think I have enough metal sheets to do all of them. Alright. But I at least want to try and get... Hey, there we go. And we got a perk. Or trait. Scrapper. Oh, it does show. Good at, good at taking things apart. Plus one metalworking and maintenance. Allows you to craft metal sheets and pipes. That's awesome. Heck yeah. This dynamic traits mod is really cool, actually. So that's metalworking five. I love it. All right. Let's continue on. How many more sheets do I have? Two more. Good, good. I think I might have a couple upstairs as well. I'll have to take a look. And I know in our old neighborhood where we started the game, I'm pretty sure I found a couple of uh, propane barbecues. In fact, I think that's where we grabbed ours. Well, I can just go down there. Snag a couple more tanks and be set for a while. A good while. Go drop these off. You can use these for more work on my crate wall. That is the last, yep, last metal sheet that I've got. I tried desperately to get rid of these things. Can't do it. I can pull up the floors and the tiles, but I cannot get rid of those things. So I'm not sure. Oh yeah, there's some back here too. I took apart all the sinks and everything as well. Two more right there. So I've got a lot more cleaning up to do around the base, but um, a lot of it's open I'm ready for use now. I'm also going to take apart those uh, paper towel dispensers when I get a chance. This is, yeah, okay. I've got another plastic table in there I can repurpose. I, could, I like to store ammo canisters and stuff on them. Alright, and what do we got up here? Taking all the water out of that. Oh yeah, from the filing cabinets. Two small metal sheets there. Some scrap metal I can use for nails. Um, I don't see any there. What about over here? No. I've got a couple more filing cabinets I can take apart. There we go. Do they only... They might only give small metal sheets. Which is fine. I can still use those for repairing things. Or unusable metal get a lot of that take the garbage bags I'm gonna be a metalworking bandit all right scrap metal from that good good I also need to clean up all these cans and stuff all of this stuff I don't want any of it all the hole punchers scraps of paper I just want my frame rate back that's all I want all of this stuff can go all right, we'll take the garbage bag. Actually, you know what? Just transfer all. And then we'll grab back what we want. Make this easier. The nails, the twine, and none of that I want. Delete. Good, good. And then disassemble this bad boy because I've already got trash cans downstairs. And I do believe that's all the metal objects out of the base now. Except for those stupid fridges, which I could keep. I could just use those for my, my crops. And speaking of which, I could get those up and running because uh, you guys told me that the winter does not affect them. Oh, these don't have freezers on them, do they? Oh, man. I really wish I could get rid of those. Okay. We got three more metal sheets. But we got enough to almost finish this side. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Nope, don't barricade. Unbarricade. There we go. One more. Put the metal sheet on there. Drop these planks. I should have enough propane. Not that one. Just gonna go to this one first. 
There we go. Should have enough propane to get most of the barricading done. And then I might have to locate like a school or something. Somewhere with a lot of lockers. Oh, no, not you. Unbarricade this one, please. Thank you. I have to click so far up. Boom. And that's all of our metal sheets. Yes, sir. Okay. Let me just toss some stuff away. 12.30 p.m.? Yeah, we got plenty of time. We can always spend the night in the safe house. Should we need... I'm going to wear this stuff. Uh, I think it was glasses off. Put these back on. And then... Do I have any fuel in the other one? I had two propane to Oh, one's in my hand. Yeah, there's a little bit of fuel in it. You guys have also been asking if this qualifies as being outside still. I do believe it does just because of the stairs. There's no tile on the stairs, so this in fact does drop my boredom. Still, there you go. And... The composter should still work out here. Do these not? Oh, there they go. Must have canceled it. Put you back. God, I've got so many tools to put back. Smoke. Yeah, this tile right here is still open. There's two tiles, so it qualifies as being outside still. And I do believe I found another one of these challengers over by LSU, so that's something else that's on my list to do. Maybe go grab that bad boy and see if we can't swap out some parts on this. Save some re resources for repairing. And I don't think I quite looted all of the houses. Yeah, I definitely didn't down here. So there's propane tanks we can grab. There's food we can grab. All of which is good. God, the frame rate. <laughs> it's just dying. The longer we go. Alright. I remember last time there were zombies out here, so I need to be mindful. We've moved on from the carpentry age to the metalworking age. And I love it. Our fire and rescue truck is still out here where it died. Sad day. You will live on in the great fire rescue truck beyond. Alright, let's hop in here. We'll go propane barbecue hunting. We're almost always in the backyards. Which is hard to see from this side. Might be easier just to do this on foot. I'm going to go to the neighborhood where I know I really haven't done a whole lot of looting, which is down here. God, it's almost making me motion sick. It's like a slideshow when I zoom all the way out. All the trees we've taken down, all the twigs everywhere, all the overgrown stuff. All the miscellaneous items on the ground. Both from the zombies and me looting stuff and just throwing it on the ground. Weapon pouches everywhere. Alright. Doesn't look like there's any barbecues here. Check this other side. We can actually get both rows. Hey, there's a composter bin right there. There's a charcoal barbecue. I do need one of those. I'm gonna take it. And then I also want to start working on... Uh, my garage that I'm gonna put it one of the entryways of my base it's gonna be like a little drop-off depot and a uh, vehicle repair shop then I can collect toolboxes and stuff like that to decorate it from the automotive shops you know and I think I know where one of these uh, propane barbecues is at I think there was one really close to where we started oh hello mr. zombie I don't like you being down here in my area. You're gonna get dealt with. Yeah, you. In a very laggy slideshow manner. 
And you can actually have these. Did the glasses not despawn? I swear those should despawn. They're just like hats. Yeah, there's watches and leather jackets everywhere. All this stuff is creating lag. Dismantle you. I really need to keep that in mind when I uh, go on to further playthroughs. Try and keep the world's assets low. 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 But it doesn't have to load as much. Alright. Let's check out these. The doghouse. Any barbecues? No. I don't think so. No zombies either. Which is nice to see. More of them I can keep out of the area, the better. Oh, there's my safe house right there. Yeah, I think just below this fence that we built, way early on, there is a uh, propane barbecue out there. Okay. Let me bring the car to the safe house real quick. Not seeing anything else really to scavenge. I could grab this car and bring it up to the Gigamart as well. Looks to be in decent shape. Just has a broken passenger side window from me getting in. You can park there. I can get out. Yeah, look at all the crap in front of the house right here. Sticks and twigs and ammo pouches and leather jackets. More ammo pouches. Or weapon pouches, rather. It's a decent looking Bronco. And a sedan. What I really need right now, though, is... Daggone propane barbecue. I can't find them. Game is actively trying to do me in. Okay, so there's none here. The other place, which I know for sure would have one, is... Those really long houses that we always go over to loot behind the train tracks here. So I'm going to spend the night, get prepared, and I'll reconvene with you guys in the morning. Alrighty, good morning survivors. <clears throat> so I spent the rest of the day yesterday just cleaning up everything, um, both in and around this old safe house. There was a staggering amount of stuff, and I actually got my frame rate to go up above 30. Which is nice, because it's been a long while since <laughs> that's been a thing. Uh, cleaned up pretty much everything around here. And I also had done a little bit of cleaning not too long ago back here. But yeah, the, the more I clean up, the better my frame rate seems to be. So I'm just listening for any zombies that might be here. And it looks like we're alright. And the snow is starting to melt a good bit. Okay, so let me speed walk up here. Alright, so we have arrived. Also, I didn't bring any food with me. I think I had one thing of jerky yesterday. So we'll have to make a pit stop at one of these houses and grab some food. There's also a lot of crap outside of here, too. Frames are good over here, though. So, yeah, it's generally where I spend the most of my time. The Gigamart... Especially my frame rate around there is never over 30. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Okay, not seeing any propane tanks back here. I know I've seen them. I used to mark them on the map, but I started seeing them so often that I was like, I don't really. Oh, there's one. Yeah, I was like, I don't really need to mark them on the map, do I? But, you know, now we're looking for them and we can't find them. There are a ton of trees around here. All right, let's make this quick. Oh, there it is. You have to cycle between. Also, I left some seeds back at my old base. And a bunch of, like, spears and stuff like that, but I don't really want them. Some crackers. Eat all that. Eat all that. Take the pepper. Rice is pretty heavy. I can always come back for this stuff. I just need some food on the go right now. Oh yeah, here we go. Spaghetti bologna, potatoes. We'll just open these canned carrots real quick. 
face this way just in case. All right. Get some chowing on. <clears throat> Ideally, I'd like to find a couple propane tanks if I can. All right, so we know this side of the map over here is fairly clean as far as zombies go, so that's where I'm going to focus my time on. Because every time I'm over in this section, there's just a ton of zeds. I'm going to grab that military bulletproof vest. I like it. And, um, toss this onto a zombie. Do my part cleaning up the world. <laughs> Do my part. Because I'm the one who made the mess. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Good night, ma'am. <laughs> I love doing that. It's all right. Good night. Okay, there's still a few over here. This is a bit of a precarious spot to fight. I never recommend fighting in tight areas like this. Especially with all the overgrown trees and an exposed door next to me. I was trying to close the door. See what I mean? That's exactly what I mean right there. Okay. Let's switch to our other hammer. There's another zombie I can hear inside of here. And we'll drop this off onto a zombie. Yeah, looks like we got a little bit of clearing to do. Make this place safe. If I could get even one more propane tank, I'd be in the business. I should have brought a machete with me. Oh well. <laughs> oh, he turned around and got smacked in the mouth by a hammer. And then the satisfying. I love that noise. <laughs> it's just the sound of their head smashing into the the grass or the pavement, wherever I take them out at. Good night. There's also a chance that we might stumble. At oh my gosh, stumble across a sledgehammer. On those POI events, I have found them inside of towns. Not very often. You'll usually find them by manhole covers. Be like a truck, maybe some barricades. And you'll see a sledgehammer or a shovel on the ground. Like the city was doing some work. Also, we really need to find more ammo. And right now, the zombies are my only source of that. Unfortunately. Get out of here. It's a wrap. I'm taking the barbecues. I'm taking those propane tanks. You ain't gonna stop me. I'm gonna go Hank Hill times five up in this beat. Yeah. You can keep your vitamins. They suck. Get out of here. She was missing her jaw. They took her jaw. How many zombies are in that house, man? What is this? Nope, not going for that. Get out of here. Oh, it looks like a six months later run. Well, I guess technically it is. <laughs> I'm stupid. The, the other day I slept, no joke, for like 18 hours. I just kept waking up and going back to sleep. Okay, that's locked. But, um, like, I got off work. I was really tired, recorded the daily episode, got it up, and went straight to bed, which is unlike me. I'm usually up for a little bit. There's another propane tank. Uh, just to make sure that I wake up, because I wake up at, like, 8 p.m. for work, because I work at 10 p.m. Sometimes a little bit earlier than that. But, uh, yeah. And then I woke up at, like, I don't know, 3 or 4 in the afternoon, and then just went back to sleep, and then woke up, and then went back to sleep. I guess my body was really tired, and it just wanted sleep. Every time I'd wake up, I'd just be like, ugh, all I need is to go to bed. All right. 
And I thought my time frame might help with doing more live streams, but it really works against me because most of my viewership is in America. And um, so now I'm on the opposite time zone and it's really, wow, what was that? Really hard for me to be awake all day and then come home and stream, mainly because of my back. Sitting in this chair does not help it. And then my energy levels are just spent by the time I get to the end of the day. I don't know, maybe I could do some late night streams. Okay. All in all, I need to do more of them. Alright, let's get down here. And maybe check this other side out. Good night, sir. We get down to the bottom street here we should be able to see pretty far oh my gosh where do you guys all come from you know how many times i've cleared this place out this little intersection here i guess they're just all coming in from down towards the gate like the exit of louisville maybe i don't know how near i am to that i'd have to check the map but get out of here! I also need to grab some more food. Okay. We could head over to our safe house. Should be more food in here. I know I didn't loot this whole place. There's a zombie. Oh yeah, look at all this. Take all that. Some fruit jam. Oh! Some hot sauce and condiments soda don't really want that i'm not going anywhere near those cash register cash registers to fight absolutely not Ooh, where was that yeah yeah where's that mac and cheese give me that okay i think it was in oh yeah you can loot those little cabinets too Okay, that should be good. I can get a ridiculous amount of metal sheets out of here. And also, I like these little icy freezers, so I'm going to have to grab some. I could take all those apart. I have to bring my torch down here. And then, uh... Clear this place out real good in order to do that. Also want to grab that soda fountain. I'm going to bring home so many decorations. Get the base nice and homely looking. I'm going to go all out. I really am. Somebody mentioned building watchtowers too. I think that's a good idea. Get up on top of that bank. Ooh. Uh, get up on top of that bank inside of the Gigamarts compound. Build like a little sniper's nest up there. A little crow's nest. I like it. I like that idea. I don't see any barbecues on that side, but I can't see this side. We're going to have to go up by the house. N nope. Man, I never thought I'd have issues finding propane tanks. We've seen so many of them. I mean, I've got two. That's an axe. I just saw a fire axe on that zombie. That's a lot of zombies. Let's not fight here. <laughs> It is very seldom that I find fire axes on zombies. Especially if you play a lumberjack, you almost never see them. Almost never. Like, the last lumberjack I played, I found like two. In the entire run. Yeah, I don't like that. Come out of there. I can tell there's two of you in there. I see that tree jiggling. Get out of there, man. Yeah, yeah. Right there. See you. Gonna do this. Go up here, have a look. I don't know where that zombie with the axe went. There you are. Watch behind me. Yeah. 
Yeah, any chance they'll get, they'll try and do that stupid dive move on you. You gotta be careful near fences. Give me that. Almost brand new, too. Good, good, yes! Oh. My gosh. Yep. Not messing with that. Took me a while to get in the chair and start recording today, but as soon as I did, I immediately felt better. I don't know what it is about this game. It's like a comfort. Just woke up really tired. Didn't want to do anything. Alright, we're going to cruise up this way a little bit and check these backyards. Good night, sir. All the snow is melting away! Yay! Okay, I thought I might have seen something good on him. It's the first month, 17th of January. Okay. God, this is sketchy. No way of telling how many are back here. Okay, that's where that's coming from. It's her. Sounded like she was right behind me. Oh yeah, a <laughs> convenient time for you to get up. Huh? Pretend like you're ignoring me and then get up when I'm in a struggle. Oh boy. Alright. Just a regular charcoal barbecue back here. Yeah, nah, I think I'm done with this place. Get out of here. No zombies on this side? Good, good. Yeah, we found two. Oh, we're right back by the generator as well. Awesome. At some point, I'm going to come down here and get this. At some point. We got two propane tanks. And a couple other good things. <gasps> a little bit of food. Condiments. Military bulletproof vest. And a fire axe. Is good. So now, my metalworking needs are taken care of for a good while. I like that. Let's head back up to the Gigamart. And maybe we'll see if we can repair a little bit on that uh, Challenger. I should be able to repair the hood. And then I'm going to have to start collecting engine parts from cars, so I need to see what level of metalworking that takes. Or uh, mechanics. All these spears, too. I need to get rid of all this stuff. So much work to be done. <laughs> God. Okay. You gotta keep up on the, the base upkeep. Otherwise, it gets out of hand. All the little things. I, I wish every episode could be action-packed, but if I don't do some of these cleaning things and the skill leveling up, then we're never gonna... Be able to get anywhere else oh and I conveniently placed all my mechanic stuff over here well not all of it but some of it I did press in turn the car off uh, got my jack there spare tire spare battery all right let's have a look at this and see what level we need to remove engine parts where's the engine my dumb yeah right there all right, take engine parts. You need a wrench and mechanics four. Oh, wait. Okay, so it's same thing. This will set your engine condition to zero. So on broken down cars. Let's have a look at this bad boy. I think I might have one... Um, spare engine parts somewhere. So this one, this one requires mechanics five. Okay. 
That's interesting. So different cars have different skill requirements. My flamingos are coming back. Yes. Okay. I think I finally got all of the loot out of my vehicles. Let's just place these. Um, right here should be fine. Eventually, this kind of stuff will go into my garage. Okay, good, good. We also need to set those traps up, too. Yes, look at that. That looks so good. Ah, oh, I love it. Is there anything else I can disassemble? I guess I could take apart those... Yeah, let's do it. Those metal shelves in the back. They're not really doing anything. I was going to use them for food storage, but meh. All right, let's grab you, wear this, and we need to transfer all of our stuff, grab a propane tank, fill you up, or a favorite you, so that way we can just come over here, also favorite these, and drop everything off into our lovely drop chests, just like so. Nice and quick. We'll take some food back because we'll get hungry on the way. All right. Go take apart these shelves. And I guess these doors too because I really don't need these doors. Oh, those are wood. What? What? Yeah, there's a metal sheet right there. And a metal bar. Nice. Nothing on that one. Um, let's just toss everything on the ground. I'll come back and pick it up later. It's more rotten food for the composter, which I assume still works because it's technically outside. Asta. All right, it's just this one left. More beans. More co chocolate covered coffee beans. Good, good, good. I like it. All right, get to work. It's a wrap. Oh, my torch is already out. Dang, they go quick. I remember one torch used to last me for a long time. I don't, re I don't remember when they changed it either, but I remember blasting through like half a school with one torch. All the lockers. I think in build 41 they changed it. Could be wrong about that. But I have been playing this game since like 39, right before the 41 release. Alright. More metal sheets. Yes. That'll do a fair amount of windows. Fair amount of windows indeed. I still have so much cleaning up to do around here. Alright, that one's done. Let's get you. Boom. Alright, get rid of these planks. And barricade. Barricade. Oh, oh, such a satisfying sound. I'm going to do the windows first and then the doors. It's already 7.30 p.m.? Jesus. All right. Bada bing. Nope. I did it again. Because I'm pulling them out of my backpack. You can speed up by one... For any action to continue into a subsequent action, but if you speed up by two, it'll cancel the second action. There we go. Oh, oh, all right. Time to get some sleep. Let's have a cigarette real quick. Put this stuff into our backpack. Yeah, I unfortunately took down the Spiffo shrine as well. It was just, there was so much stuff right here. I gotta remember where I put all my alky, my alky haul, because I think I'm out of, uh, um, sleeping tablets. Oh, gosh. 
Everything's a mess. <laughs> this is my life. Everything's a mess. A sleeping tablet somewhere around here? Yes. Okay. These are good to have on me, so I don't have to go and grab them every time. And I'll just keep them in my pouch. Like that. Alright. Lay down. Bada bing. About to speed up time a little bit, get really tired, go to sleep. It's a rap, billy bap. Oh, sit the bread, the bed, the bed, and a nap. I believe we wake up relatively late, or at least close to our alarm, so that we have energy for the day. We'll have some fruit jam for Brecky. 7 30, perfect. I set my alarm back to um, 8 instead of 9. Oh, I was going to do the windows first, right? Yeah, I think that's a smarter idea. Because that's all fortified off. They also have the doors. Okay. It's actually not too bad need to make sure to drop some planks off. Alrighty. Looking good. Drop you guys off. And all oh, amount of metal sheets. No. No, I'm out of metal sheets. Where can I get one more? The oven? No, I need that. I need that. Let me see if I missed any in here. Is there anything else I can take part? Are you metal? No. Not metal. Oh yes, metal sheet. Did miss one. And we can have a juice box. Mm. Okay. Get this buttoned up. Lamb, <laughs> I love that sound. I'm gonna have to move all these planks, but I think what I'll do first build up my crate wall as much as I can. Get please get out of the walk to menu. Thank you. Okay, so this is where all my food went. There's some alcohol in here, that's good to know. A few nails, there's my wood axe. I really have to get some organization going on in this base. It's a big mess. Alright, I'm just gonna open one. Screw it. Wooden crates. Oh, the lovely level 10 crates. They look so nice. Oh, how many planks are we short? One. Good, good, yes, girls. Give me the plank, carpentry. And the crate wall here, it's finito. Ah, but I think that's enough for one episode. I'm gonna go out and drop my boredom. Got a lot barricaded on the base. We took some stuff apart, found some propane tanks. And we're sitting pretty. Winter's starting to fade a little bit, I hope. My flamingos are showing. If you find yourself enjoying the content, leave a like and consider subscribing. You are one click away from joining the Fire Nation army, and together we will rule the apocalypse of Knox County. And if you're just tuning into this episode, go on back to episode one of the Louisville Trials. Right now it's Lily Clapp's time to shine, her time in the spotlight, and we are doing great. My farthest survivor yet. 9,305 zombies dispatched via weapon, 2,380 via fire. Six months, almost 13 days. Looking good. I gotta get my weight up. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day out there, all you beautiful people. Sorry.